you guys saw my first Jackie Chan movie when I was about 14, about 15 years ago. He's a great action filmmaker, great choreographer of action, great performer. Everything critics normally say about him is true. He kind of is in the tradition of people like Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, Charlie Chaplin, the major physical comedians of the silent era. And of all the um, of all the Hong Kong action films, his are probably the most fun to watch, largely because there's so much personality and, and because of his athletic ability. <laughs> My favorite that he has, probably the three police stories. Police story one, two, and three. I think are his best. Well, one in Drunken Master 2 is phenomenal. He sets himself on fire just about, uh, walks on burning coals. Um, well, then there's the, the classic where he falls off a clock tower and nearly kills himself. Of course, he does that in nearly every movie. But, um, oh yeah, oh, you could name 10. There could be you know a dozen good ones, but he always seems to outdo himself. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I can't believe he's still doing this stuff. He's like in his 40s, you know, he almost died doing Armor of God and all this other stuff. So I'm surprised he's not crippled yet. So it's just, it's good to see him alive. So, and he still does his own stunts and, and his stunt guys are nuts too. <laughs> any injury that we could ever sustain won't be as bad as any of Jackie's injuries. So. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Everybody enjoy the show. Um, I'm very, very happy to come back again for uh, there was been five years now. Um, been these five years, I've been doing a lot of things, and of course, I break my ankle, and I hurt my face. I, I just do the movie called CIA. I just cut my finger from the snowboard. And a lot of things. 
But when I just hiding behind there to listen all the audience reaction, that's a, that's what I want. For all those years, uh, I just like to listen. So this is why many people ask me, why are you keep doing this? Why are you keep doing dangerous things? Now it tells you, that's what I want. I want people stay in the uh, the, the, the movie house, just keep yelling, yeah, yeah, ha. <laughs> then, then I just look at my leg, it worth. Uh, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you for all those years to support me. Mm, such a very cold day. And thank you again. Thank you. Jackie, we're thrilled to have you here at the Film Center, to have you back at the Film Center, I should say, after five years. And you know, before we get into some questions, I'd like to also introduce the person here in the center stage. This is show business legend in Hong Kong, Willie Chan, Jackie's longtime manager. Willie is the person who believed in Jackie when he was first starting in show business. And if it were not for Willie's special attention to the Film Center, Jackie would not be here tonight either. So let's have a hand for Willie. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back. And uh, thank you for supporting and loving Jackie all these years. Thank you. We're, we're going to take some questions from the audience very soon, but Jackie, first I'd like to ask you, what, what do you think of the American audience reaction compared to the Hong Kong audience reaction? I, I, that's why American audience too lovable. Because I think in Asia, that happened, there was uh, 15 years ago, when first time when they're doing the dangerous stunt, that the whole theater we're talking about was... Uh, Police Story Part 1. The whole theater. <laughs> and the whole theater was like this, same thing. Ah, yeah, ah, ah. Then later on, Police Story Part 2. Ah, yeah. Then we come ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Now, now is, they like it, but not like it before now. They, they when people go into the theater, they just, yeah, dangerous done. You should do it. <laughs> and when 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 I get hurt, yeah, I used to it. <laughs> Not like a, now. I very very choose me up when I in Utah, in the film festival, Sundance. Sundance in here. And when I look at the American audience, they they just yeah ha ha. Then ah, oh, there's a comeback again. <laughs> uh, I believe. Ten years later, do the same. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. But anyway, love audience. Yes. We're, we're going to take some questions from the audience because I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So please raise your hands high when you have some questions. Okay, that man in the sweater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Out of all your movies, which one do you feel is your favorite? You're like the most, the most private. I think next movie always the best movie. <laughs> and if you really want me answer, I like from from the action part. I like Police Story Part One, little bit Project A. And from the director, director, I like uh, Miracle. Miracle, the for the director skill. Thank you. Uh, the man right behind you. Um, I know about some of your more silent films today. I was wondering who are some of the more contemporary people that you really like or are fond of? He wants to know what um, what more contemporary actors or directors you like. He knows about the silent film actors. Do you want to 
this video. Of course, right now, there's a lot. I cannot remember the name. Uh, I make a few like uh, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, and of course, uh, James Cameron. Cameron, James Cameron. I think they are genius. They are from another star. I don't, I don't know what they are thinking, all the things. When I look at them, like a Terminator 2, how can he do that? <laughs> really, I, I really want to, I just tell the, all my friends, if today I've changed, I come to America, if they, the, all, one of the directors, let me stay on the set, I quit my movies, then I stop doing everything, I just, beside them, the director, I, I can put the chair, uh, you know, put the tea, because I want to learn something from, from, from his technique. If you're talking about basic things, I mean, without special effect, no computer, nothing, I can, I'm the one of the teacher, not the best, I'm the teacher. But you're talking about special effect, I'm like a, I'm like a kid, kinder, kindergarten kid, yeah, really. Yes, is this the first movie that you've worked in with Anita Moy? And what do you think of working with her? I've been working with Anita Moy three movies now. First is uh, Miracle, then The Drunken Master 2. <laughs> yeah, I believe a lot of people. Drunken, Drunken Master 2 is a big success in Asia. After that, then my, uh, I think we should continue to do something. So this why we make a uh, Rambo the Bronx, then she in it. Yeah, she's uh, she's great actress. Yeah. I think uh, it really doesn't affect me anymore because my movie you can see there's no politics and always happy go lucky, easy story, and. Bad guy always die, good guy always survive. <laughs> and, and I chi China government uh, very welcome me. So this why whenever I go into China, they really welcome. So it doesn't affect me anymore. And I believe there's some some director, they will change a lot. No, I stay in Hong Kong. I stay in Hong Kong, but I think all those years you can see my base in Hong Kong. But all those years I just keep traveling around, like Yugoslavia, because in Hong Kong is so small, so tiny. It, it cannot, how can they let me use the photograph on the street? <laughs> if I'm used for, for one day, I think that Hong Kong business all dead. <laughs> right, because oh, oh, the main street, only one main street. So this is why all those years I'm shooting in Yugoslavia, Spain, everywhere except in Hong Kong. So it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Nineteen ninety-seven. Yes. Okay, I'm walking up here. Do you mix martial arts systems for your film? Mix. You mix different. Styles oh yes. Now it's total is not martial art anymore. <laughs> yeah. When you look at my movie before, I became. I believe with, if the audience keep follow my movie, you can see I just keep change. Before we call Kung Fu, like Jungle Master One, uh, then then uh, Snake and Eagle Shadow. But later on, too many people follow me. Like before, I follow Bruce Lee. Second Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. Then Bruce Lai, Bruce Table, Bruce Telephone, all Bruce. <laughs> so I, I want to get rid of the Bruce Lee Shadow. I like Bruce Lee, but I don't want all, all my life to follow, follow him. So this is why I keep study Bruce Lee movie. How how can how I'm different? So this is why when Bruce Lee kick high, I kick low. When when after somebody punch Bruce Lee, he always. But somebody punch me. I I just keep doing. Then becoming becoming kung fu comedy. But everybody follow me. There's Jackie Chan, Jackie Lai, always all Jackie. Then I turn turn into action. Then everybody follow, follow me action. Then I turn into dangerous son. Then nobody follow me. <laughs> <laughs> and so this why, 
So this why you can, from my movie, you can see from, I put action, kung fu, dangerous stunt, comedy, drama, and one movie. Beside that, you can, you can see I use chair fighting, refrigerator, sofa, everything beside me is a weapon. But a weapon doesn't violent. Uh, there's a lot of people ask me, what? Action movie, not violent? I said, no, it's not violent, but you punch somebody. Okay, if you really want to say it's a violent, it's a good violent. That's a better than the dinosaur eat the real person, right? <laughs> when, when, you, when you see my, me punch somebody, doesn't see the blood come from the mouth, the, the, the nose, everything. I always show it the good way. When you see I'm fighting, it's like a, more like a dancing ballet and like a Donald Ducks. That's, that's what I want to do. It's not like, bah, bah, ah! Then, I never, I don't like to do that. Because there, in Asia, too many children to see my movie. So this is why I always show the good, good, good talk. Uh, yes, I, 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 I believe all those years uh, I've been have a lot of American audience to follow me, like uh, like uh, one by one to tell people, ah, oh, Jack, there's a Jackie Chan movie, there's a Jackie Chan movie. Been 15 years now after the big brawl. Big brawl, I fell. I feel very disappointed. I back to the Asia. I because at that time I would tell Asian people, I come to Hollywood. Then I go into Hollywood. I bought a house. Then I stay in Hollywood. Started my English. Doesn't work. And I try to get start in Cannibal 1, Cannibal 2. I hope the audience can see Burt Reno. Not, not me, Burt Reno, Fire Fox. Ah, what's the Chinaman? If they like it, I try to make another movie. But it doesn't work. I fell I back to Asia do my own movie. But later on, since the 15 years, it's, it's, I don't know, it's about times coming back. I can feel a lot of audience like all of you. Yes, Jackie, coming back, coming back, coming back. Now I'm coming back. I, I, thank you. I still, I still know. I still don't know. This time is the right timing or not. But I try to coming back. I don't care the promotion. You know, tomorrow, tomorrow, Toronto, day after tomorrow, New York, after New York, then San Francisco. I don't know the new line. Very terrible arrange. New York, San Francisco, Seattle, uh, uh, New York. It's not just fly. I said, okay. I think right now doing a promotion more dangerous than doing a movie. <laughs> Always on the DC-10. DC-10 again. <gasps> DC-10 again, yes. And I think right now about time. I don't know. I crossed my finger. I think because all those 15 years, I think that's the last market I break in. I bring in Europe market, German, Russia. I bring in Russia market, every market, except America. I don't know why. If you know why, please tell me. <laughs> really, why? But I look at, in American market, why so difficult? Then I look at some German movie cannot get in. A lot of, some other countries still cannot get in. There's only few, like a Crocodile Dundee. I, only very few. I hope I'm the, the few one and can get in. Yes. Good question. I've been doing now. I've been the next one uh, is a summer home director. And he went he came to Chicago for location, then he going to New York for an occasion, then coming back to tell me, uh, Jackie both locations very good, one thing's too cold. <laughs> then, then I say, no, 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 I just come back from Moscow. Very cold in Moscow, you know. Uh, a lot of things besides cold, we're not, not used to cold in Hong Kong, you know, we have no snow. Then, 
I, when I sit down there, I say, camera on this side, you know, move this area, and this side move. About half hour, they <laughs> snow. The camera doesn't work. Everything is slow, so this is why we decide to warm the place. We decide. Next movie is supposed to talking about New York again. Uh, we film in Sydney, some part in Sydney, but last three weeks, we're going to New York again. Yes. We keep hearing reports that you intend to retire some year. How, do, how long can you last with all these injuries? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this is why you can see before I was director myself. But when, when I directed myself, that's two years, one movie. Nine months, one movie. Another two years, one movie. One movie. But I count. I have so many projects. If I finish all those movies, I'd be 50. So this is why all those years, I hire a different teacher, a, a different di director. And they do a lot of things for me. Like, I've, as soon as I finish the CIA, some of whom I already start now. They're, they're uh, pre-production, casting, do everything. Then I just, on the set, start the movie. So I hope in this couple of years, can finish my movie. Retire, talking about retire, of course, everybody retire. Uh, if I really can get in the American market, make a, make a movie with uh, James Cannon, oh, maybe no, because they continue to do the special effect. Oh, jumping, you know, I just stay broke. <laughs> Boom, oh, I just, like this, about 100 feet now. Ah. <laughs> then I can continue doing these kind of things. But, but I talk to myself, did uh, the American audience likes me doing this way? I don't believe it. I don't think all of you, they, you don't like me doing the special effect. So this is why I, I will continue to do not dangerous stun, stunts as long as I can. And until my body tells me cannot do it, or maybe another big injury is coming, then they tell me stop. And after stop, maybe at that time I can learn some special effect. I, I, I don't want to learn because too late now. Uh, as a collaboration with uh, some American director with my stunt, then helps me stunt with the special effect. At that time, maybe I can, can do it. Do it. If I cannot do it, it doesn't matter. I can be a director. I'm looking for new talent. For all my things, I teach them. And maybe another second Jackie Chan comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Five more years ago. Yes. Uh, now I, now th there's uh, two planning. After Samuel Holmes, Samuel Holmes, there's uh, Stanley Tong again. We decide either the Red Indian story about Qing Dynasty, cowboy, and Red Indian. That's a very interesting, I've been talking about like Rambo in the Bronx, it's been 10 years now, that one. A second one, Stony Tong have uh, another idea. It's a call like uh, Arabian Nights. Yeah, Arabian Night. Uh, flying carpet. Yeah, flying carpet. But of course, we're not doing special effect. But <laughs> it's a talk. It's a talking about uh, uh, Armor of God Part Three. The people interesting the flat carpet, the carpet, carpet, and the the what the light, the oh, uh, uh, the the light. And, but as soon as we find the light, there's a, there's a the giant comes up. But he already very old. And sometimes the magic works, sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> and always when we, somebody chase us, we want to, the carpet help us. The carpet doesn't work. <laughs> and yeah, see, that's a comedy. <laughs> and we've been working on either one. Either Armor of God Part Three, either is the Red Indian story. Yes. Now some of whom probably doing the Police Story Part Five. <laughs> we continue until Police Story Part Thirty Five. <laughs> okay. right yes. Okay. Um, personally, I think your Police Story series was three of your best. Now, if this Rumble in the Bronx is really successful in America, would you consider re-releasing those three 
in the main, in the big theater? Yes, I believe uh, the Paramount. I read it. Merrimack. 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 I read it. I read it. Bought the uh, Jungle Master too. Uh, and crime story. Now I believe Mary Max is uh, holding all the picture. I believe uh, some other company they already bought my picture. They are holding. They said, look at, look at what New Line is doing. If the New Line is doing good, I believe in few months my picture will come in. Boom, 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 boom. If this one doesn't work, they ha huh, put in the refrigerator <laughs> and wait. Really, that's the business. I, 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 I know. Yeah. Um, right there. Um, yeah, most of your pictures have been very comedic, but Crime Story was a lot darker, grittier. Do you, do you like to do more of the comedic or? Yes, I, right now I like to do more different character, like after the, after uh, uh, City Hunter, I do <laughs> City Hunter. Then I like to, then it's a crime story. Then it's a different. After crime story, then Jungle Master 2. After Jungle Master 2, then Rambo in the Browns. Then the Thunderball. Yeah, Thunderball. Then I try to different character. I, I, later on, I don't want to, I'm the fighter. No, I want to be an actor. When you be an actor, you can act 60, 50, until 80, like Marlon Brando still can acting. If you only be a fighter, very short life. So now I'm learning how to act and direct and martial art director. Then I, then I can stay a little more longer. So this is why I try to do each different things, uh, different character, different yeah, movies. Up in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's your favorite stunt? Uh, very difficult to tell because when I'm doing every stunt, even always hurt me. It's a small stunt. The big stunt, I'm very concentrated. I'm concentrated to do it. But sometimes the small stunt, ah, okay, just piece of cake. Boom, I get hurt. And favorite stunt, most scary. Every stunt scary. <laughs> yeah, speed the truth. Every time when I stay on the top, or even doing stunt before, just keep boom, 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 boom. And later on, I have an experience now, so I never think about stunt. If they said, I uh, have to jump, okay, prepare everything, I just go down to talk. Talk everything, talk, 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 talk. Everything ready, ready, really? Okay, go up, rolling, do it. Then, pa, ah, I did it. Then, ah, I like a hero, everybody like this, ah, oh, good, 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 good. I, I believe I get hurt already. I think because I broke my leg in the choreograph before the motorcycle chasing scene, the guy is a miss, he crashed my leg. Because that leg is my uh, the favorite leg, kicking, jumping, I, everything I lay on this leg. So I got hit by the uh, motorcycle. Then after the jump out of building, I believe after building, I ready what lead your book, book a little bit. Then end the choreograph. Then totally help. Then after cow, ah, oh, I look at the cameraman. Did you get the shot? He said yes. Good hospital. That's, then everybody asks me, why you, why you look at the camera? I said, if I get hurt, the cameraman doesn't get the shot. That means I, I hurt for nothing. <laughs> even I said, even I die, you just continue shoot. Really? That, <laughs> yeah, that means if I die, I die for something, right? That's, I think, every stuntman uh, uh, is the, the, the world, yeah. Other questions from the balcony? Are you planning to work with Quentin Tarantino? Oh, yeah, of course. I really hope can work with any American you know, famous director. Um, from the back here, um, the white shirt. Yeah, yeah, yes, you. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, Samsung uh, a few years back made a movie about, about um, how your, your growing up years in the TV opera. <coughs> Yeah, I was wondering how close is that to um, your actual growing up years? Uh, that's uh, totally about only, if about 100%, only 10% right. It's 90% wrong. 
If you see the movie called Farewell My Concubine. Yeah. That one is close. That one is close. Question here? Uh, what about the team of Jet Li? Is that still gonna happen? Uh not I heard rumors about that. There's many rumors. There's a there's a rumor I'm making a movie with Stallone for what about eight years now? A few years. A few years now. Even I, when I met Stallone, I said, what happened? Then he said, I'm still thinking a script. I said, okay, good. <laughs> There's too many rumors. Uh, until when you see the movie release, that's the real things. Yes. And, you know, film business always, yeah, I make a movie, but yeah, yes, yeah, I make a movie, yes, yes. No. That's always like that. When you see the movie sh release, that's the truth. Okay, um, the middle of the, that side there, the man with the dark sweater. Yes, yes, you. Oh, that, that tuxedo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm 26 years old and I'm uh, two years older than you. Show you. Oh yes, yes. She, I believe she now she. This is now three story three. Yes, super cup. Yes. Now she's uh, concentrating uh, uh, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Chew up. How many times did you fall from the clock tower in Project A? Including rehearsal, four times. <laughs> uh, because when, when we're doing that, that one shot, it takes one week for one shot. Uh, we don't have uh, like American, when I work in America, I saw the American stuntmen, whatever they do, they have a calculator. Write it down, how many, uh, I'm a, uh, 300 pounds, that's just, I don't know how. Then they really, if they jump, jump the car, they're really on the, that spot. But our is uh, doing nothing like a uh, calculator, just, can we do it? Yeah, do it, just do it. <laughs> and yes, this, so this is why you can see all my movie at the end, the outtake, not even I get hurt. My stunt guy get hurt. Yeah, everybody get hurt. And <laughs> we are not stupid, but <laughs> because we just do, do something uh, unusual. There's n nothing can practice. You c when practice always, okay, practice. But the real things, we don't want to practice. We just, we have uh, like, uh, uh, when on the set, when, uh, my favorite scene. My, my favorite scene is, uh, shoot rehearsal. Yeah, everything is a shoot rehearsal. Everybody stand by. Let's rehearsal for shoot. Rolling, rehearsal, pong, good take. Yeah, if a bad take, then we ask the stunt guy, can you get up? Oh, no. Okay, next. <laughs> yeah, really, I have a 16 stuntman. Yeah, if you, you, if you remember, there's a police story from the second floor, break the window, close the, the railing, the railing, fall to the, uh, uh, Travis, yeah. yeah, then to the floor, one shot. That's, that's supposed to, it's not me. It's a, it's a stun guy. I hit the stun guy. The first guy coming down, three stitch here, hospital. Then I change another one. The uh, little finger broke. Then the, 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 the third one, it comes down, cannot get up. And also, when he fell, not pretty. He just, <laughs> yeah. Because, you know why? Because when he over the glasses, we suppose, bang, bang, bang. when he over the glasses, 
He's a little bit scared, like a boom. Then doesn't, doesn't look nice. Then there's almost few people get hurt. Then I said, okay, now I change idea. I want to show them what I'm doing. I know I get hurt. He sent me to the hospital. Right away, boom, I just get up. I get up, I just come in. I just know everybody says, get up, get up, get up, get up. I see it. Get up, get up. I run to the store, I fell. Then they sent me to the hospital. All the blood from my mouth. And what happened just now? <laughs> but you're still here, all right? Yeah. yeah. And even you, you remember the clock tower, you just mentioned the clock tower. When I fell from the clock tower, the camera zoom in, the Yun Bells and the actress come to lift me up. They lift me up, then Yun Bells say, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Then, then I, 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 I already fell already. I just, <laughs> then past the camera, I already fell, finished. But after, you know, we are always redub. After redub, oh, we then say some dialogue. But when I, every time when I look at the clock tower, I'm so proud of myself. Even now, I'm still get hurt here. But it's okay. We have no rehearsal. Yeah. Okay, from the balcony right there. Was there a, a different ending for Rumble and the Bronx that would have to be changed after you hurt your foot? Yes. It's a, it's a different change. What, was there a different ending for Rumble in the Bronx that had to be changed after no, you broke your foot? No. Uh, 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 there's nothing changed. There's a little bit change uh, between uh, the inside, like uh, the Uncle Bell's wife supposed to have uh, two songs. One is an American song. The second song was wearing a Chinese costume. But in, Ho in Asia, when that scene comes out, all, everybody laughing. But I, I, I think in America, you, you don't understand what, why we, she wearing the right, uh, red Chinese costume. That's not, not funny at all. So that's why we cut this thing. Uh, some scene I think is too slow, not fit for the audience. Then I cut, we cut it off. We, that's between between the different culture. Yeah. So this why uh, sometimes I listen, I, I watch a lot of American film. Besides, the people just keep laughing. I don't know why it's my fault. I I, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, like and Sundance, Sundance Film Festival when. The, the dialogue, the people say, hey, this is a choreograph. Everybody laughing. I said, why are you laughing for? I don't know why. Choreograph coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah? Why? I don't know why. OK, some more questions from the back. Uh, person in green there. Because it was funny. <laughs> yeah? So see, this why. So this why I don't know why it's laughing. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I, I believe a big bra for all uh, who love me, it doesn't fail. But for myself, it's a really fail because um, my movie in Asia, I don't have to promotion. When I, there's no title. There's a, every time Jackie Chan film, boom. Everywhere, boom. So in, in America, I still like uh, uh, Jackie Chan. Who are you? Still, people ask me, are you second Bruce Lee? And uh, what are you doing? You know, still, still not like Asia. Everybody lo knows me. So this is why that's my last chance. I come to America. I try the best I can. Let more beside the people who knows me, the, like uh, children and the family, and, uh, like a uh, like a housewife. I, I need those audience beside you. So this is why I try very hard. If this time fail again, I try again. Maybe it's balcony. There's a lot of people in balcony. Okay. Um, Bruce Lee himself had a very tight-knit family. Now, do you have a family, and if you do, what do they feel like? You know, like, mind all your pain. You're doing all these dangerous stunts and stuff. Uh, most important is my mom. Uh, besides that, my family, 
they 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 know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, they him go man. Never question him. Yeah, never ne never question because even when I doing the stunt, first time like I, I'm doing the stunt, uh, quiet. You know, about six hundred people on the set, quiet, rolling the fifteen camera rolling. Then everybody's quiet, just only me. That nobody move. Everybody just about half hour. Look at me. I just waiting, waiting until I shake my head. When I shake my head, rolling, 15 camera rolling. Then some high speed. Ah! Then I just look at the 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 the, the, the spark. Ah! Then I jump. After jump, everybody clap. Then I in, then he cry. <laughs> <laughs> Then Maggie Jones cry, everybody cry. Then I, I feel happy. <laughs> then, and except my mom, I, I, I accept my mom. Then after that, I won't let he's on the set because he bothered me. And my father, my father, when I jumped from the clock tower, my father was the one of the extra downstairs. Yeah, he was like this. That day I didn't jump because. When I look down, my father just. <laughs> then I said, Ah, oh, today the weather's bad. We'll change tomorrow. Then after that, my father wants to come to the set every day. Then I just call my father. No, we, we change the schedule today. We do it tomorrow. <laughs> then my father said, Oh, okay, nah, nothing to do. I, 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 don't, I won't let them know. Even I get hurt my, my head. Do you have a son? Huh? Do you have a son? Yes. Yes. Just a becoming. Uh, now it's okay now because now becoming open secret. If the press, if the press asks me, you have a wife, you have a son, I said no. Then I said, but a liar. And there's a long time ago when I have a girlfriend. There's a girl suicide to the subway. I think everybody knows already. And another girl drink poison in front of my office. So this is why we decide I have a responsibility for all my friends. But I keep all the secret for many years. But when I look now, all my the fans with me, they are get married already. They have son already. The son also my fan from my fan club. Then I believe it's about time I can tell to the fans, I have my own family. I'm the normal people. I'm not. No, no. Yeah, I'm normal. Not. I'm glad. I'm. I always tell Stallone, you are lucky. You're born in America. You can get. Get married, divorce. Get married, divorce. Get married, divorce. I can. You know, in Asia, we still have an Asian tradition. If you have a one wife, just one wife. If you divorce, you finish. So this is why I keep my promise. Thank you. I'm going to do two more questions. Just two more questions. Okay. Wait, the girl all the way in the balcony, all the way in the last row? How much freedom did you have when you shot the US movie? Did they pressure you? You did not do that? Was there cheating? You mean Rumble in the Bronx? Yeah. Did you have any restrictions compared to your Hong Kong movies? Oh, you mean Cuba? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I totally control. So, <laughs> yes. So, this is why when you see my movie, you see Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan movie, I'm totally controlled. Uh, so this is why, even now, I talk to New Line or some uh, American production. If you want me, okay. From the camera work, uh, 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 acting, acting scene, uh, lighting, uh, art director, everything, I listen to you. I, because in American, Many professional people, but from the action scene, please listen to me. I, I, I do my own work. I don't like, like, a, like a long time ago, uh, like a big bro, uh, 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 the what, what movie again? A New York movie, what? Protector. Two days fighting. Uh, you must finish today. Uh, three days on the, uh, you know, all the, all the things. Even I said, can I change here, jump to here? No, 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 you've been rehearsed already. No, it's better than this way. No, that's the, the union. So, so this is why when I back to Asia, like uh, when you see Drunken Master 2, I fight with the Ken of No, 
There are only seven minutes. Uh, only that scene, that seven minutes, we take four months. Four months, there's no way you can do in America. And I just, I tell Kenneth, hey, that's your chance. Because suppose it's another guy, he fight with me. But this guy is a real fighter. He really know, pa, 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 but he don't know rhythm. Da -dang -dang, da -dang -dang -dang. And every time I just, da -dang, he just, dang, dang. I said, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. He don't know. I know it's very hard to finish the movie. So this one, I changed the part. I changed the part. Then he fight with me. Then I said, hey, that's your chance. Learn your kick. I want your kick standing like this. I want your kick better than when them. Then, and this guy, crazy. No matter lunch time, dinner time, even sleeping. He like this. <laughs> yes, the leg, he straight the leg like this until, un, until the last day I shoot that. Yeah, and four months. And did you, the son, uh, Amar forgot? No, part two. Part, Operation, Condo. Operation Condo. The wind tunnel scene. Five months. Every day one shot. We, we, can, we don't know your special effect. We don't know how. We just, we just use the wire. And the America, if they use the wire, they can erase. erase. We cannot erase. So this is why even the cameraman put in the wire. Even the lighting man put in the wire. Everybody take the small paper, cover. From every inch to cover all the wire. So this why one day, one shot. So sometimes I really want to learn some, some computer. Okay. One last question right, right here. Martial arts films have become very popular in film and on TV. And earlier when that question was asked about Tarantino, and some people laughed about it, I think what's going to happen, personally, is you're going to release this movie, and these directors that have made, are making films now, and are becoming very popular making films that are copies of other directors of years ago, this whole genre of directors that are doing this now, after this film comes out, and of course, with all these the other great films, they are going to make copies of your film. Yeah! When, they, when people laugh, they're laughing because everyone here knows that they're copying you. So in America, they're copying you too, just like everyone else. So it's not a question. It's sort of like, you know, everyone here knows that when it comes to what you do in your film, you're the best. Yeah! Uh, I, I, I think, I think I, I, I answer your question is before when I remember when I was 16, 15 years old, I was a very young stuntman. There's a stunt guy from America. They teach us how to punch. They teach us, us how to reaction. Boom, boom. And that time we really surprised. Wow, that's an action movie. So we keep learning, keep learning from America. After that, I keep learning from Buster Keaton. I learning from uh, because I later on I find out in America they don't have the, like a Buster Keaton this kind of actor anymore. They really concentrate in special effect. Even they talking special effect. They walking special effect. Everything count down in special effect. And they let all the, I talking. I, I have a conversation with all the stuntmen. I said we don't think anymore. I said why? Because Whatever we think, the special effect better than us. We just go there to do something, uh, 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 let the computer help us. So we don't have to think anything. So we are different. We don't have a computer. So this is why we continue to think the human, human movement. So this is why it helps us. So I, I kind of like uh, before we learn in America. Now Americans learn from us. Yes. Yes. We all wish you the best with your new film, and uh, thank you for coming to Chicago here tonight. Thank you, Willie. Oh, let me finish. Oh, do you want
Can no 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 we we have more time. No, I really reason why I want to sit here. I really want to understand American day thinking. What are you thinking? It helps me can make better movie for American people because I already have an Asian market. The only market I want is America. So this is why I want to know more. Yes. <laughs> Are uh, you Chinese? Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Japanese. Ah, Sima Zen. Okay, when Bruce Lee died, you know, fans all over the world were just like wanted. You know, who's going to be the next Bruce Lee? Who's going to follow him? So when you're gone, or like when you start making movies, what are you going to do? <laughs> I, I believe um, all those years. I I wrench myself step by step. Then when I'm doing the action scene, my father says, at that time, my father 60 years old. He was in the American embassy, and my father was cook. I believe everybody knows he just retired. Jackie, I still can cook when I was 60. Can you fight until you're 40 or 50? Then that it bothered me. So this is why I learned more acting, directing. I believe one day I'm not in front of the uh, uh, screen. I still can be a director, then uh, martial art director. And I can teach people how to fight with in a the movie. Then maybe I open a stunt school and teach people how to, not the street fight, the, in the movie, and the camera angle, and the rhythm. And there's a, there's a lot of American action star they don't know. That's a secret. Today I'm very happy. I tell you the secret. And you can see a lot of some other action movie, they, when they're fighting, about 10 minutes, 5 minutes. But now they change a lot. Now I'm talking about, like when I watch Wesley Snipes. It's not, now he, he boom, 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 boom. but before we're talking about, when you see American movies, some other action movies, they're fighting, bang, 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 bang. If the whole, the whole scene comes down, it's a pretty boring. It's a bang, bang, bang. So after that, I have my, my formula. When I, when I choreograph all the fighting, before, I write it down. It's like a rhythm. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang. Then, slow motion. Then, breathe. Then, the leg. Then, music. Then, coming back. Without music. Just, just, uh, how go? Effects. Effects. So, the, the things come in. Bang, bang. Da, da. Da -da. So the, when, you, when you see I'm fighting, da -da -da. so I can see the audience, everybody, they have the audience, yes. If, is, you understand what I mean? So the whole sequence, then stop, everything. Then the, then, then the leg, then coming back. Da when, okay, when I fight again without rhythm, if no rhythm, that's the music that comes up. That's my formula. And that's that that kind of that kind of uh, secret. This is my formula. And then my hand like this. One thing is uh, Only for fighting. Next thing you shoot, only use a, a prop like a rifle. The first time you shot, you shot, you shot, you shot, you shot, you shot. The second 
basement and the warehouse. Then you go like this, and you, you see Satan. Then you see the all the mighty things in there. Then that's what we have to do. Then you see Satan. You know, then you see like this in the spirit world. Then boring again. Now it's not secret anymore. You know. Yes. Set up some things that don't need that. Uh, I think it's a different different scale. Is a few more serious person. You look at you look at some of those Asian porn stars, Lady Gaga style, or you look at some of them here. Yeah, and and you, when you look at Stallone or boxing or those kind of things, then you see that they have the same kind of thing. Uh, you are the comedy one. Action, gender stuff, don't do everything. So, I, I, I believe before I sell with the audience, they need to know how to do it. They need to do it in five minutes. Yeah. 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 I, I, many years ago, I, I talked to myself, I'm, if I'm not making a business, I'm going to be a thief. I'm going to climb up to the building, going to do it. And, and also, I'm very into gymnastics, but of course, not to the same extent. Yeah? Uh, like three years ago. Was that intentional? That, no. That's, that's an art director. <laughs> yeah, I just... Uh, before, it's not the ghost. Before was uh, something else, very dark. Then I tell the art director, the bottle, because at night time, the bottle, uh, the alley was uh, dark already. If the background is the dark, the bottle comes in, you cannot see the, the, pow, the things. So they change, ah, the white things, okay, it's a ghost. We, we are not thinking about, like, uh, a lot of people think my movie have some philosophy. Yes, I do, but not this kind. Uh, you can see, my philosophy is, I want to say, uh, and the Bronx, why they have a Chinese gangs in the Bronx? But no, I do. I put Ch Chinese gang, Italian gang, French gang, every gang in the Bronx. That means my philosophy is in the whole world, there's a good people, bad people. And given that, at the end, we're becoming friends. Yeah, that's my philosophy. And beside that, no palate, no, nothing. Yeah, very simple story. Yes. You've been to Moscow, you've been to Australia. Now been to Chicago. We're hoping that you'll be able to manage a Minnesota winner one of these days. <laughs> <laughs>
she hopes she'll come to Minnesota now that you've been to Minnesota, all yes. Places. <laughs> you, also, you also do everything. You write, you act, you sing, you do stunts. What part do you find the most personally satisfying? Uh, movie, yes, stunt. The stunt makes me satisfied. And not even now, even on the set, when everybody doing the stunt, you can see the stunt success, not me success, it's everybody's success. Because they help me to the protection. Even useless, the, at least the people, you know, they're standing beside you. I know it's useless, but it gives you a, it gives you a, the gust. And then you can see everybody just pick up the, pick up the rubbish, you know, pick up rubbish, they, they clean things, when quiet, everybody quiet. After you finish the stunt, everybody yeah, just come. Then you feel, oh. <laughs> oh. Then, but for a few seconds. Then coming back, next shot. <laughs> but I think stun, uh, it makes me proud, uh, uh, satisfied and, uh, and a good movie. So this is why I, every year I concentrate one movie. If I want money, I can make one year make 10 movies. I find 10 director. Let's do it. I don't care, good or bad. Stun double, double, double. Very yeah, really easy. But I concentrate in one movie. Every movie like my baby. After the movie Success in Asia, I know the new line to buy my movie. Then I come to America to study, show to the audience. You like this? You don't like it? I, I've been watched with American audience, watch more than 10 shows every day. I, I look at them. This part not smiling. This part do, they don't like it. This part they don't like it. Why? Why he had not uh, uh, dubbed himself? Okay. Well, why? Wow! Well, I, I cannot read re much. I want to see again. Why? Because the dialogue. Okay. Now I dub myself. I without the dialogue. Uh, uh, no. I mean subtitle. No subtitle. Though I've been studying very hard until finished. Then show to the audience. Uh, success in Utah. Uh, Sundance. Sundance. And I do success here. Then I hope not only I, I, I hope really success everywhere. So this is why finish this movie, then CIA again do the same thing. And I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, sometimes, sometimes money is a lot of things, but sometimes money is not any everything. And I like good movie better than uh, money. Like these kind of things, money cannot buy it. Have you ever been in a real fight? <laughs> yeah, when I was young, yes. And when I was young, uh, yeah, I fight on the street. Uh, the, the people get down, and I get hurt. I win, but I get hurt. So this is why in the movie, I show my real life. Uh, there's, you, you can, I beat you today, today, tomorrow you bring four guys coming. I beat four guys, next day you bring eight guys. Especially now, this kind of age. Uh, uh, this kind of period. They not come from the punch, they just come from the gun. Poo. Tell people I don't know how to fight better. I'm the actor. <laughs> okay, th this time one last question for sure. The man back there, you had your hand in the air a long time. Yes, you. You've been making movies for 15 years. You want exposure in America. You need to hit the video store. Yes. Most people yes. don't go out anymore. Yes. You have yes. movies that I've seen that maybe most of us in here have seen, but the problem is not that they're bad movies, but that other people haven't seen them. They're hard to find. Uh, that, that, that question, a lot, a lot of people ask me already. I, do, I really don't know why. Because I only know how to make movie. After the movie finished, I just give to the company to dispute and everywhere. But many people keep asking me, I cannot find your video, I cannot find that. I, I, I really don't. Do you know why? I think because, well, Rumble is a good case, and the uh, company thinks if we can sell uh, for theatrical release, of course, it's better than the videos. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that's probably what 
for me, it really doesn't matter. For me, it's a, a lot of people know me as a possible. I, I don't care. Uh, but of course, I, I like people watching the big screen, not the s s small, small video uh, and the uh, TV. And like when I just in Moscow, when I in Moscow, everybody know me. I just very surprised. Why everybody knows me? Because the pirate film. Then I yes, yes, some pirate films good. <laughs> if without pirate film, I don't think they know me. Yeah, but there's a very dilemma. Dilemma, very dilemma. I've been learning a whole day these words. Dilemma. <laughs> dilemma, yes. yes. Okay, that was, right. that was the last question. Thank really, you. thank you again. Uh, I, want, I want to say thank you, and thank you all those who support me. And uh, what I say is, I will try my best to get an American market. Then, at that time, we'll stay American, make American movie. If I cannot success, I still try. I still will make movie for you. Thank you. Thank you again. Love you all. Thank you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still difficult English. Daddy came. Can I get the coffee? Yeah. Home and coffee. Bye, Joe. Okay. Already ordered. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.